uh, obviously, the Kentucky's had a lot of good point guards over the years, John Moore, et cetera, et cetera. How does that play on your mind to be in that line? You know what I mean? In terms of maybe expectations, people, pressure? Uh, you know, geez. not really try to live up to the expectations. Or, not try to? Nah, just play my game, go out there, you know, just try to do what I do, do what I can do to help this team, and that's really it. And I understand uh, Tyler Hero invited you to the draft last year, right? Mm -hmm. Your father told you. <laughs> well, what did that mean to you, to, you know, uh, for him to do that? That Kentucky just, you know, so brings guys together and just a brotherhood. Uh, and, you know, it's just like, you know, me and Tyler created a bond that was just different. So it was mm -hmm. nothing, nothing much. You know, he invited me out there. It was a uh, real great experience, real great time, and I just appreciate his family. Were you at his table? Oh, no, 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 no. I was, with, I was just with some of his family members, uh, but I wasn't, it was just, I, they was in, like, they was at the table, we was in the mm -hmm. stands behind, but, you know, just had a great experience out there. Yeah, I wonder why you guys bonded, why you and Tyler, was there, you know, was there something that brought that, to, brought you together, or not that much? Uh, that's, I mean, we always played against each other growing up. Like, we would play against each other, like, every tournament type. Because um, we both was on Adidas then. But, you know, when we got here, it was just like, it wasn't really nothing. We was just, like, friends. Like, but it wasn't, like, no, nothing on no close. Uh, you know, him and Keldon was real close. Everybody was real close. But me, I guess we just took it different to a different line, just got that bond. Yeah, I got the feeling he kind of got you into the habit of coming to the gym more, not being on social uh, media. Nah. Now, am I thinking too much there? Nah, I wouldn't say that. I would just say seeing him being in the gym and uh, knowing that he, he was getting out there as like during, in the middle of the season, it was like, hey, let me let me try to do what my brother's doing. Uh, you know, he, he did have a big part in that too, uh, getting me in here daily, uh, you know. At the beginning, I started off just coming in like once, just thinking practice was going to help, but you know, it wasn't that. I had to put in the overwork, and you know, he helped me with that a big time. I went, I went and knock it, knock it off, but he did. Okay. What's your approach to the all <laughs> We got four. Well, real they got quick. some fun stuff for you. Real quick, <laughs> we're questions. the fun ones. We are. It doesn't require really a lot are. of thought. First thing off you get here. <laughs> you need fashion advice from someone on the team. Can't be yourself. Someone on the team, who would you get passion advice from? Uh, I okay, would say Khalil, Khalil, Johnny, Khalil, Johnny, okay. <laughs> Tyrese. Right. Now, you're trying to impress the ladies, so you need to, to consult with the smooth talker on the team. Who, who's the best smooth talker? Other than me? Other, Other than, than you, you. yes. <laughs> we know uh, who it's going to be because he's winning by a long shot right now. Who is it? Oh, I don't, I don't uh, I would say Khalil. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> he must have some really good lines. Yeah, I can't wait to get over to him. <laughs> okay. You can be any car in the world that you want to be. What car would you be? Ooh, that's a long one. No, no, no. Lamborghini, right? <laughs> oh, no. I might just be, go with the Maybach. Okay. Maybach. Maybach. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. And last one, are you now, now, you and your Maybach self yeah. <laughs> cranking up the music because you're by yourself and there's no judgment. What old school tune are you rocking to? Probably some Biggie. Biggie. Yeah. I've heard that in a couple times. Yeah, <laughs> probably some Biggie. There we go. Right. See, I told you it was easier. Right? <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Ashton. Ashton. No problem. Ashton, what is uh, your reaction to this? <laughs> I was dying, uh, but that's just that's just what, what people don't really see behind the closed doors. That's what kind of person he really is. Uh, you know, that's one of his favorite dances. I will say so. Don't let him try to say nothing else. So he do do that dance every day. When you saw this, did you hit him up? Did you like? Nah, <laughs> nah. I see it. I see it too much. So it's like, nah. I know you guys are. Close, and you went to into the draft. What is with him to the draft? What was that experience like? Uh, it was real good. Um, you know, his family brought me out there. Um, he, he brought me out there, so it was just like I just thanked him a lot 
for getting me to experience that. It was like big time seeing my brothers get drafted, uh, hanging with them the night before, and it, and then just you know opened my eyes, you know, brought me back here, put in work harder than I've been working. So I'm just trying to get better and just be a different player. In terms of offense, uh, I mean, last year you, you talked about your defense, but you know, what kind of things now are you trying to get improved in your shooting and you know, where are you focusing on? Uh, you know, just keep getting up reps and, and just keep working on my shot. You know, just getting in with a coach daily, uh, listening to them, seeing what they can do to help me, and just trying to get better. Yeah. Um, Manuel was saying you really you know, work on your jumper and, and that, that's come around. Is that something that you just figure would just kind of take take time? You know, you try to finish the layups and that sort of thing? Yeah, you know, it, it, a lot of things take time, you know. So I've just been, like, off season, I was just trying to get in the gym wherever I can find and just just keep getting up shots. Uh, not trying to work on too much, overwork myself, you know, just keep getting up reps and then just work on myself. Actually, I wanted to ask you, you know, being a mentor to a younger guy like Dante, I've heard some guys say that he's been really driven and hungry. How much have you seen that from Dante just coming in? Uh, it's crazy because knowing me, if, I, if I'm hurt, I probably, the only thing I'm going to be doing is recovery. Uh, but Dante, you will come in here at 6 o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, and he'll be in here running up and down the floor, getting up shots with, with a brace on. I, that's just like, there. he already ready to work. Um, and knowing that he's a, he's a special player and he's he'll be back real soon. So it's just like, dang, we, we already got a lot of weapons. Has he we talked to you about that at table. all? Uh, nah, he, he's real quiet. We trying to get him out of that. Uh, so we trying to get him like more open and talking to us. You know, we like saying too much, but we, we're getting him there. He, he almost did. Everybody talks about Johnny and Tyrese as the best shooters, but I've heard that Dante is actually the, the, the best shooter on the team. Can you can confirm that? What, what have you seen from him uh, from a shooting perspective? Like, like I said, coming here at 6 30 in the morning, he's probably pulling from the logo somewhere uh, and just hitting. And that's no lie. But uh, I mean, I would say Johnny, um, Quick, Tyrese, they the best shooters. So. We got to see when he when he out here on the floor for show though. So. Cal says it's going to be a guard-driven team. Obviously, that you guys are the strength of the team. How much pressure does that put on you, Tyrese, and, and the others? Uh, not too much. You know, last year, you know, getting on the floor a lot, uh, playing with the guys that, that was here last year, and you know, coming back playing with these this group of guys right, these group of guys right here. Uh, it's like it's like a totally different team. It's like last year we was posting a lot. This year we can like really get out and, and we can post the ball as well if we need to. Uh, so it's like it's, it's going to be real special getting up and down with the